Hey guys, what's up Capricorn? Thanks for watching. I uh, appreciate it. It's going to be a reading for the situation that's for your highest good for you to know. Uh, any obstacles that you may face and the outcome of that situation. This could be your energy or the energy of someone around you. Um, so the energies can go both ways. This is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone, but hopefully it does with you today. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe. All right, guys, I was trying to pick up on your energy during pre-shuffle, and it's just, and this may not be for everyone, it's just kind of blank. Like, you've been waiting and waiting for something, and it's just, it's almost to the point you gave up that it's coming. Or you don't feel like it's going to come. Whatever this is that you're waiting for. Um... But it's like it's there over the horizon. Like you can't see it, but it is coming. Things are starting to pick up. You may not notice it, but um, it's coming. I don't think you see it yet. So if there's something you've been waiting on, a new opportunity, a new situation, or maybe you're just bored with your situation, um, don't lose hope. Don't lose sight of the goal. One more card for Capricorn. Alright, so we have justice here as a situation. Um, that could be anything from... Uh, sorry. this You could be dealing with a Libra. Is what that could mean. But this is, like I said, a need for things to be balanced out. Like possibly uh, this could have to do with a legal situation for some of you guys. You may be having to defend yourself here. Or feel like you do stand up for yourself. But something was just... The scales weren't balanced with something. Show me this justice for Capricorn, please. Yeah, for some of you, this definitely could be uh, a legal situation. There's your energy. And you're trying to heal from that. This could have been a divorce. Um, some type of decision that was made. Possibly by you, because your energy is popping out here. Um, just something that wasn't off balance. I just feel like, um, almost like this somebody's, I hate to say karma, but there's something you're not seeing. Like, you're not seeing an end to it. So waiting, you're waiting on, on your happiness for something to balance out. But right now, you or someone around you is um, standing their guard, defending their position. Tell me about the Seven of Wands for Capricorn. I don't think um, you need to worry as much if you are worried. I don't feel worried, though. I don't feel worried. With this Four of Swords, that's, that's healing from something. But, um, yeah, this could have been a situation, some type of marriage, and somebody feels like um you're standing your ground here somebody is feeling left out in the cold left behind could be dealing with the gemini or taurus but you're being defensive towards this something is really hard it's overwhelming you're feeling like there's just a lot of weight possibly like you're the only one trying Some of you could be leaving a marriage behind. You're just tired of carrying all the weight on your back. You're tired of having to constantly defend yourself and stand up for yourself. Show me this Queen of Wands for Capricorn. This could have been, you know, some type of toxic thing, um, abuse in a relationship, dealing with somebody's addiction, alright, so for some of you, there's a third energy that came in between you guys, we have the seven of swords that popped out, and now we have the queen of pentacles and the hermit.
about this Queen of Wands. It may have been more than one person involved here. Yeah, somebody might have stepped out. That's not for everyone, but you're just feeling the heaviness. You're taking some time. Yeah, you're kind of just fed up with the situation here. Not even interested. Not even paying in no mind. It's like it's right there in front of you, but you're not, you're not seeing it. Tell me what this Page of Pentacles is. For Capricorn. Let's shuffle real quick. Could be dealing with the Pisces. It's like, yeah, there were things that were hidden and possibly you found out. Could have been some, some um, arguments, some disputes. Somebody else around this situation. For some of you, someone, uh, somebody could have stepped out on a marriage here. Probably not for everybody, but um, could have found somebody in your home. Like, um, you know, your spouse brought somebody in or something. Tell me about this page of pinnacles. arguments around this somebody has definitely walked away here could be like a mother and a child so that's what I'm feeling like The world did pop out, though, so there are cycles ending, and, uh, you know, things are changing. Somebody wants something new, or they're starting something new here. You may not even see this in front of you. Like I said in the beginning, I feel like you feel like this waiting or whatever this that you're going through is, like, never going to end. But there are, um, there is a new cycle coming. And it's coming slowly with this Knight of Pentacles. Like I said, you could have been waiting so long. You got fed up. I'm tired of waiting. But that's what this Knight of Pentacles is. And this is Earth's energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It takes this time to get here. But when it gets here, it's a solid offer. It's something solid and something committed. So like I said, um, you could have gave up hope on this. But you also have the Ace of Cups, the world. There's a new cycle beginning here, possibly with the Aries. Doesn't have to be. So, um, if this is you that's been waiting for somebody or for something to happen, make sure that you're not missing an opportunity with this Four of Cups. Because sometimes we can kind of miss what's right there in front of us. <clears throat> You get the temperance, the strength, and the king of pentacles. So this is your energy. This is this is healing what you're doing. But it's also, you know, find your strength within that. Find some strength to be patient and let go and um, let the divine work. Because there is communication coming. There is something new coming. Possibly you can feel it, but you can't see it yet. Like your intuition is telling you that. But you really need to go within. Take some time to walk away from this to heal. Because there is some kind of struggle. There is, there is a, with the nine of wands, there's a rough patch. There's a struggle to achieve this. But it's not impossible. It's just a nine. Which nines are intense. We feel them. But um, we don't stop. The wounded warrior keeps going. Yeah, the hangman. You need to take some time out. Whatever this is to you. Take some time out and reflect. Walk away from this chaos. From this arguing. 
because you will be victorious. Yeah, like I said, you could be dealing with the Pisces, but this is hidden from you. Things are moving forward. There are new opportunities coming, and I feel like you can, you can feel that. There's a, like a spirituality about this. Maybe you, if you are religious or, um, you know, whatever, you need to take some time and go in. Maybe meditate, pray, that type of thing. Communication is coming, but it still seems like it's a little bit further out for right now. Um, because possibly you've waited on this so long, like you're not even seeing it, you're not even interested in this no more. For others of you, you're bored and fed up and walking the hell away. I think you found out some stuff. And I think that maybe the roads got rocky for some of you. There's a calmness, though. there's a period of healing that's definitely needed. There's a lot of heaviness here with whatever this is. Somebody is feeling completely abandoned. Like, I don't, I keep getting a mother child aspect from this. And then in this Five of Pentacles, you know, she's holding her child close. She don't trust this person in front of her anymore. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, um, you can go back and look. I did the last two weeks of August for you guys. Um, and the first week was great. It was full of new opportunities and um, just a lot of happiness. And then that last week of August, this popped out was the first card, actually. Um, so it's like you went from heaven on earth straight down to so if this is your story somehow if this resonates you might want to check out that video um you can go to my page and find that yeah somebody is just holding back and I feel like right now that's kind of what you need to do and yeah, there's anger around here and all that um this is doing is manifesting anger like somebody could have been like a trickster uh, up to no good and they knew what the hell they were doing so if this is resonating go back and check out that video if I think about it I'll try to leave a link below to it in the description box all right Capricorn let's get a card for you Capricorn card for Capricorn please I feel like somebody is going to try to want to work on this. It's not right now, though, I don't think. Capricorn, please. So you made a decision and you're standing by it. Capricorn, please. Card for Capricorn. Thank you. I'm requited, love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I just read the card again. <laughs> and that's the one that fell out. So um, I'll try to leave a link below. Make sure you go check that out if this is your story. Yeah, very soon. Like I said, I feel like you've given up hope on this or that anything will ever work out. Like you wanted to. Clearly decide what you want now. So that it, when it comes to you, you'll know. Like be sure. Use this time to go within and think. Because like I said, you have been waiting on something. Some type of change for a long time. And it's coming. We can't see it. And sometimes we wonder. And we start to think. Like things are never going to change because they've been just one way for so long. Or we get to the point we've been hurt so much we just feel like we can't take no more. So, alright Capricorn, hope this helped, hope this resonated. Definitely check out that other video and I will see you all next time.